Hello, good morning dear students. This video is about income tax treatment of retirement benefits. Myself Dr. Abbas Fatoli, Assistant Professor, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambu. Topics to be discussed in this video are three important retirement benefits. First, commuted pension, second, gratuity, third, leave and cash. I will be discussing the concept and a solved example on these three retirement benefits. First, pension. Pension is a periodic payment made especially by government or a company or other employers to the employee in consideration of past service payable after his retirement. Pension is of two types, commuted pension and uncommuted pension. First, uncommuted pension. Uncommuted pension refers to the pension received periodically, that is monthly. It is fully taxable in the hands of both government and non-government employees. That means uncommuted pension, that is a regular pension or monthly pension that are fully taxable to the government employees as well as non-government employees. Next, commuted pension. Commutation means interchange. Commuted pension means lump sum amount taken by commuting the whole or part of the pension. That means employees have an option to receive either pension in periodically or receive a lump sum amount instead of the periodic payment. Such lump sum receipt is called commuted pension or commutation of pension. So, in respect of commuted pension, there are certain income tax exemption. Earlier we said that uh, uncommuted pension is fully taxable. Exemption in respect of commuted pension, section 10, subsection 10A. Look at this. Pension can be divided into commuted and uncommuted. If it is uncommuted, it is fully taxable. Already we discussed. If it is commuted, then employees of central government, local authorities, statutory corporation, members of civil services, defense services, etc. That is government employees. It is fully exempt. Other employees, that is non-government employees. If the employee is in receipt of gratuity, that means employee is also getting gratuity, then one third of commuted pension received will be exempted. That is one third of the commuted pension received will be exempted and two third will be taxable. If the employee does not receive gratuity, he is not getting gratuity, then half of commuted pension received would be exempt and the balance will be taxable. Okay, this is the tax provision relating to the pension. So, government employees, it is fully exempted. For other employees, if he receives gratuity, one third of the pension will be exempted. If he does not receive gratuity, half of the pension will be exempted. We can solve a problem. Mr. Sagar retired on 1st October 2019, receiving 5,000 per month as pension. On 1st February 2020, he commuted 60% of his pension and received 3 lakh as commuted pension. You are required to compute his taxable pension, assuming he is a government employee, he is a private sector employee, receiving gratuity of rupees 5 lakh at the time of retirement. He is a private sector employee and is not in receipt of gratuity at the time of retirement. So, solution. First case, he is a government employee. Uncommuted pension received. That is October to March. That is, he retired on October and uh, the financial year or the previous year ends on March. So, October to March. So, you know, uh, it says that uh, he retired on first October 2019 at 5000 and on February he commuted his pension 60% is commuted so his uncommuted pension is 
5000 into 4 months that is for october november december and january full pension as uncommuted so 5000 into 4 months plus 60 percentage he commuted so the balance 40 percentage he will receive as monthly that is uncommuted so 5 40 percentage of 5000 into 2 months that is for february and march so total yeah. 5000 into 4 20000 5000 40 percentage of 5000 is 2000 2000 into 2 4000 so total 24000 that is his uncommuted pension then commuted pension received is 3 lakh already given in the question that is he received 3 lakh so less exempt under section 10 subsection 10a that is government employees fully exempted so taxable commuter pension is nil so total taxable pension is 24000 okay that is the first case second he is a private sector employee receiving gratuity of rupees 5 lakh at the time of retirement so uncommuted pension received that is the same october to march that is 24000 same calculation i am not explaining uh, why this end on march means the financial year end on march so from october to march this item is computed so commuter pension received is 3 lakh less exempt under section 10a he is a private sector employee receiving gratuity so one third of the pension commuted will be exempted so 1 by 3 into 3 lakh by 60 percent he is commuting only 60 percentage 3 lakh by 60 percent into 100 percent because total commuted value of the pension it's 1 by 3 is exempted to arrive at that amount we will use this equation 3 lakh by 60 percent into 100 percent so we will get it as 1 lakh 60 thousand 667 so 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 66 thousand 637 is 1 lakh 33 thousand 333 this is the taxable portion of commuted pension so total taxable pension is 1 lakh 57 thousand 333 then third case he is a private sector employee and is not in receipt of gratuity at the time of retirement uncommuted pension same as 24000 then commuter pension received is 3 lakh less exempt he is not receiving gratuity so half of the pension is exempted so 1 by 2 into 3 lakh by 60 percent into 100 percent that is 2 lakh 50 thousand 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 50 thousand it is 50 thousand 50,000 plus 24,000, it is 74,000. So, the taxable amount of pension for this employee is 74,000. Okay. Next topic is gratuity. Gratuity is a voluntary payment made by an employer in appreciation of services rendered by the employee. In fact, Payment of Gratuity Act 1972 is a statutory recognition of the concept of gratuity. Almost all employers enter into an agreement with the employees to pay gratuity. So, gratuity is also a retirement benefit. It's a voluntary payment by the employer, but most of the companies are now giving gratuity. This is the exemptions in respect of gratuity under section 10 subsection 10 gratuity received during service fully taxable okay received at the time of retirement or death employees of central government members of civil service and local service authority that is government employees it is fully exempt other employees covered under the payment of gratuity act 1972 the least of the following will be exempted 20 lakh that is the statutory limit actual gratuity received or 15 days salary based on the last drawn salary for every completed year of service or part in excess of six months number of days in a month to be taken as 26 otherwise the salary compute last drawn salary in a base the two on a computer for every completed year of service I'll come the metro of the service and all over salary which took it in amount that is the last month of service. That is the last month of 
ദിവസം പതിനഞ്ച് ദിവസത്തെ സാലറി കാണാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് പതിനഞ്ചേ ബൈ ഇരുപത്താറാണ് എടുക്കേണ്ടത് ബിക്കോസ് ട്വന്റി സിക്സ് ഡേയ്സ് ആണ് ഒരു മന്തിൽ ഉള്ള വർക്കിംഗ് ഡേയ്സ് ആയിട്ട് കൗണ്ട് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ദെൻ അതർ എംപ്ലോയീസ് ഇഫ് നോട്ട് കവേർഡ് അണ്ടർ ദ പേയ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രാറ്റുവിറ്റി ആക്ട് നയൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻറ്റി ടു ദൻ ലീസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫോളോയിങ് വുഡ് ബി എക്സാം ട്വന്റി ലാക്ക് ആക്ച്വൽ ഗ്രാറ്റുവിറ്റി റിസീവ് ഓർ ഹാഫ് മന്ത് സാലറി ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ആവറേജ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടെൻ മന്ത് സാലറി ഫോർ എവറി കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ഇയർ ഓഫ് സർവീസ് അഥവാ പകുതി സാലറി പ്രൊപ്പോർഷനേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് എന്ത് ചെയ്യും എക്സാം ചെയ്യും എങ്ങനെയാ വെച്ചാൽ ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ആവറേജ് ഓഫ് ലാസ്റ്റ് ടെൻ മന്ത് സാലറി അവസാനത്തെ പത്ത് മാസത്തെ സാലറിയുടെ ആവറേജിന് ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് കിടക്കുന്ന ഹാഫ് മന്ത് സാലറി ഫോർ എവറി കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ഇയർ ഓഫ് സർവീസ് ഇവിടെ കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ഇയർ ഓഫ് സർവീസ് മാത്രമേ കൗണ്ട് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ പാർട്ട് കൗണ്ട് ചെയ്യില്ല അപ്പൊ നമുക്കൊരു പ്രോബ്ലം നോക്കാം മിസ്റ്റർ റവി റിട്ടയർഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻത്ത് ജൂൺ ടു തൗസൻഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ കംപ്ലീഷൻ ഓഫ് ട്വന്റി സിക്സ് ഇയേഴ്സ് എയ്റ്റ് മന്ത്സ് ഓഫ് സർവീസ് ആൻഡ് റിസീവ്ഡ് ഗ്രാറ്റുവിറ്റി ഓഫ് റുപ്പീസ് സിക്സ് ലാക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ഓഫ് റിട്ടയർമെന്റ് ഹിസ് സാലറി വാസ് ബേസിക് സാലറി ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് പെർ മന്ത് ഡിയർനെസ് അലവൻസ് ത്രീ തൗസൻഡ് പെർ മന്ത് സിക്സ്റ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഫോർ റിട്ടയർമെന്റ് ബെനഫിറ്റ് കമ്മീഷൻ വൺ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ടേൺ ഓവർ ടേൺ ഓവർ ഇൻ ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ട്വൽവ് മന്ത്സ് വാസ് ട്വൽവ് ലാക്ക് ബോണസ് ട്വൽവ് തൗസൻഡ് പെർ ആനം compute his taxable gratuity assuming he is a private sector employee and covered by the payment of gratuity act 1972 he is a private sector employee and not covered by the payment of gratuity act 1972 he is a government employee solution first he is covered by the payment of gratuity act 1972 gratuity received at the time of retirement 6 lakh it is given in the question less exemption under section 10 subsection 10 least of the following will be exempted first gratuity received 6 lakh statutory limit is 20 lakh then 15 days salary based on last drawn salary for each completed year of service and part there in excess of 6 months so in the question it is said that it 26 years and 8 months so total 27 years of service he will be there and for the purpose of this gratuity covered act 1972 salary means basic salary and dearness allowance only basic salary and dearness allowance will be considered in this case so you can see that uh, in our question the salary given as 5000 basic salary and dearness allowance 3000 so we are computing it as 5000 plus 3000 that is 8000 his monthly salary last drawn salary into 15 by 26 into 15 by 26 that is 15 days salary into 27 years that is his completed year of service so we get it as 124645 so the least of these three will be exempted that is 124615 so total received gratuity is 6 lakh and this 124615 will be exempted so taxable gratuity is 475385 then second case he is not covered by the payment of gratuity act 1972 so gratuity received 6 lakh less exemption uh, just see the computation least of these three will be exempted gratuity received 6 lakh statutory limit 20 lakh then half month salary based on average salary of last 10 months preceding the month of retirement for each completed year of service so the equation is half month salary 1 by 2 into average salary into year of service so look at this equation 1 by 2 into his salary for this purpose is basic salary plus dearness allowance if provided in the terms of employment forming part of salary and commission which is expressed as a fixed percentage of turnover so here salary includes salary and uh, the dearness allowance which is counted for a retirement benefit and also fixed percentage of commission so 5000 into 10 last 10 months 5000 into 10 then 3000 into 60% only 60 percentage is taken into 10 for last 10 months then 1 percentage of turnover that is 12 lakh turnover that is for 12 month 12 lakh into 10 by 12 that is for 10 months into 1 percentage divided by 10 then we will get a average salary for 10 months average salary into 26 years we here part of the month will not be considered so 26 months and 8 year and 8 months is equal to 
years. So the amount will be 1,1400. So the exempted amount as we shown earlier is 6 lakh received 1,1400 exempted. So taxable gratuity is 4,98600. So the next third case is he is a government employee. Gratuity received at the time of retirement is 6 lakh less exemption under section 10 subsection 10 fully exempted. So taxable gratuity is nil. Next is leave salary or leave encashment. Generally employees are allowed to take leave during the period of service. Employee may avail such leave or in case the leave is not availed then the leave may either lapse or be accumulated for future or allowed to be encashed every year or at the time of termination or retirement. Now, the employees leave Sadhana Gadila work service in some third come, but Kadirina Chella Leavigal and the Yum, or a version of Yum will lapse out, Chella Leavigal accumulate you, and the Tavaka service of Alagata Lepo Vanangulum accumulated Leavigal to come. Other lingle service Kalagata Tila Lingle the Karium Burake, our Kandina in a N cashia, other than a salary to convert yam, it cut the leave in a salary to convert yam. Other than a parana pair and a leave encashment, a lingle leave salary. The payment received on account of encashment of unavailed leave would form part of salary. The salary and the taxable on exemption amount received by way of encashment of unutilized earned leave on retirement, section ten, subsection ten AA. About during service, taxable on leave and cashment received during the period of service, fully taxable. Received on retirement, whether on superannuation or otherwise, by a government employee, fully exempt. By any other employee, least of the following is exempt under section 10, subsection 10 AA. Statutory limit 3 lakh, leave salary actually received, 10 month salary on the basis of average salary of last 10 months preceding retirement. Cash equivalent of unavailed leave based on last 10 months average salary to his credit at the time of retirement. That is why all the retirement sameta all the credit till any baki illa accumulated leave in a cash equivalent. Cash equivalent I convert I want to pay equal to the Avsana the Pattu Masata average salary and the cash equivalent. The earned leave entitlement cannot exceed 30 days for every year of actual service. If you have accumulated leave, you will be able to do it. If you have to do it, you will be able to do Cash equivalent computer in the summit. Let's do a solved problem. Mr. Gupta retired on 1st December 2019 after 20 years, 10 months of service, receiving leave salary of rupees 5 lakh. Other details of his salary income are basic salary 5000 per month, 1000 was increased with effect from 1st April 2019, DNS allowance 3000 per month, 60% of which forms retirement benefit, commission 500 per month, bonus 1000 per month, leave availed during service for 80 days. He was entitled to 30 days leave every year. You are required to compute his taxable leave salary assuming he is a government employee he is a non-government employee let's solve the problem first he is a government employee leave salary received at the time of retirement 5 lakh less exemption under section 10 aa 5 lakh because government employees it is fully exempted taxable leave salary is nil case b he is a non-government employee leave salary received at the time of retirement 5 lakh Less exemption under section 10, subsection 10A, it is computed as 26,400. We will look at this note to know how this 26,400 is arrived at. So, first we can go to the note exemption under 10AA, least of the following is exempted. First, leave salary received, that is 5 lakh given in the question. Statutory limit, that is 3 lakh. Okay, 10 months salary based on average salary of last 10 months. So 10 into that is for 10 to get 10 months salary into salary of last 10 months that is February to November because he retired on December. So last 10 months is February to November divided by 10 months to get that average salary. So calculation look at this 10 into 5000 into 8 plus 4000 into 2. This is because 
in question it says that his salary increased by rupees 1000 from 1st april 2019 so february to november in february and march he get 4000 only that is 4000 into 2 then april onwards up to november that is for 8 months he got 5000 rupees so 5000 into 8 plus 4000 into 2 plus 60 percentage of 3000 because 3000 60 percentage that is only counted for retirement that is taken into 10 for 10 months divided by 10 months to get an average salary into 10 to get 10 months so, so it is 66,000 then cash equivalent of leaves standing at the credit of the employee based on the average salary of last 10 months maximum 30 days per year of service so leave due is equal to leave allowed minus leave taken just see 30 days per year into 20 years that is he has 20 years of completed service so 20 years into 30 days per year is equal to 480 uh, so is equal to 600 days minus 480 days he has already availed to leave so accumulated leave is 120 days so leave due in days divided by 30 days into average salary per month that is 120 days divided by 30 days into 66,000 divided by 10 then we will get the amount that is 26,400. That's no, our son at the salary program. I'll go to the diversity to leave in the salary to a balcony to do a diversum divided by Muppa the diversum into our water iron divided by butter in the chimbo. I'll go to twenty six thousand four hundred icon exempted salary in the parana. Is sixty six thousand on air to conduit each other and then a patta massa take a ladder shambalana. Okay. Patu master shambalatine, patuna divided the Urimasta shambalai. Okay. Urimasa the shambalam, Tinamal and the Nuti was the divasate, Urimasta shambalatine by Muppa the days Nurta and a word divasa the shambalangutum. A word divasa the shambalatine and Nuti was on to multiply the amount on and the Varane, Irotarayati, Nanur and the Varane. Okay, I hope you understood. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.